Hello, and welcome back to the Chart of the Week, where we walk you through some of the most impactful events going on within the market. Today, we're going to review where are we within this cycle. Looking historically, we get a lot of similarities between the summer of 2021, the winter of 2018, and the summer of 2013. During these windows, Bitcoin had historic all-time highs and then witnessed its first legit pullback during a bull cycle. My goal here is to try to quantify, are we helpless? Is this cycle over? Or should we get ready for a bear market? Or is there a chance of a strong rebound? Specifically, we're going to be looking at the percentage of Bitcoin supply that's in a profit, meaning what percent of Bitcoin is purchased at a price that is lower than where it currently is today, or what percent of your colleagues are happy versus are not with their investment. So for starters, where are we now? Currently, about 65% of Bitcoin's holders are currently holding within a profit. So you'll notice there is this horizontal line at the very bottom, and that's kind of a threshold that I've drawn simply to look at past windows and see, are we hitting that threshold or is there a chance of a rebound? So to focus in on some of those past cycles I mentioned, we'll start with 2013. Bitcoin rises all the way up to $200 a share and then collapses down to about $70, $65. Um, Drastic pullback, about 60-70% pullback, but you'll still notice that about 62 or 63% of Bitcoin supply was still in profits during this window. Then we quickly saw a rebound to all-time highs, and Bitcoin surpassed $1,000 for its first time. Note, though, 62% of holders were still in profits, and then we had that rebound. Then you'll notice the bear market kicks off, and we start to really surpass these thresholds. And then we witness well over a year of pain during this window. Then the bull market kicks off again. Everyone's in profits. 99% of the traders are in profits or supplies in profit. And we once again have our first large pullback of the cycle. Separate from the previous cycle, we did not get to get back to all-time highs. This time around, prices were around 19,000, collapsed down to about 6,000. But still, we had about 63% of supply in profit during this window before our last attempt at a bull run during this cycle. Prices jumped back to 11,000. And then again, the bear market kicks off. And that brings us to last cycle where we had the famous double peaks. Um, Bull market kicks off. Things go well. Focusing in here, we hit that 65,000 mark and then collapse rather quickly down to about the 30,000 mark just under. Again, during this window, 65% supply was in profit. And then we had the famous rebound where we hit all-time highs around 67,000. And then the bear market very consistently kicked off. FTX and some of the other larger market players feel the pain and go out of the market. And that brings us to our current cycle. It's been pretty steady. We've had a few larger pullbacks, but nothing too drastic. And we're currently experiencing our largest pullback yet. But again, we're still well above that 60% threshold, currently sitting at about 65, 66% of Bitcoin supply in that profit range. Don't take my word for it, though. I'm a big fan of backtesting within the Glassnode platform. So I ran a quick one here. Really simple strategy. You would have bought with $1,000 back in 2013. And you would have only sold if the percent of supply and profit falls below that 60% mark. And essentially, it just helps avoid some of the worst parts of bear markets. You'll notice the portfolio sits out and then it buys back in and then again sits out for some of these larger collapses and then gets back in once prices start to regain. All in all, the strategy would be performing about 40% better than just buying and holding Bitcoin and never selling. Um, Your totals would be you'd have 26.5 million as opposed to 17.9 million. Pretty nice returns. Um, Wish we all got in in 2013. Lastly, though, I will mention that this current pullback, while it's not great, it's not necessarily outlandish and, you know, horrible for the whole context of Bitcoin. You'll notice, as I mentioned previously, we've had some of these past cycles where we had drawdowns of around 70 percent and then still witnessed a large comeback. And even last cycle, we had this drawdown of about 50 percent before the rebound. So in historical context. This 25, just over 25% pull down is not out of the context of a bull market and things very well could rebound. Do your research and tune back in next week for the chart of the week. Thank you so much.